The NBA's annual slate of brand new city uniforms is here for 2021 and SportsLogos.net is bringing you team by team breakdown, all 30 teams, all 30 city uniforms right here, right now. Let's go. The 76ers are back in black and you have Ben Simmons to thank or blame for it, depending on your point of view. A couple of years ago, Simmons tweeted his wish for a return to black and the team responded with a challenge. If you win the rookie of the year, you'll get your wish. We all know what happened after that. The design here is inspired by the houses along Philadelphia's Boathouse Row, as well as a throwback to the old Allen Iverson era from the late 90s. And yes, that is a TTP hidden there in the houses for the team motto of Trust the Process. The Milwaukee Bucks are giving us a bit of a history lesson by giving us the origin of the city name Milwaukee. Actually, it's pronounced Milwaukee, which is Algonquin for the good land. Thank you very much, Alice Cooper. Yes, that is one of the origin stories for the name of the city, Milwaukee. The Bucks are choosing to focus on another one, which means the gathering place by the water. And you can see that in the design of this uniform. It's blue, it's three shades of blue, which is very unconventional for the Milwaukee Bucks, who usually go green and cream. It is inspired by Lake Michigan, all the rivers that run through Milwaukee. There's even a series of waves that go through the entire set. The Chicago Bulls are going to black and gold in a tribute to the architecture of their city. Chicago is written across the front in a typeface very similar to that used on signage throughout the city, along with the words, No Little Plans, a quote from city planner Daniel Burnham, who was instrumental in rebuilding Chicago following the Great Chicago Fire back in the 1800s. The Cleveland Cavaliers are honoring their city status as the home of rock and roll with this ransom note style jersey this season. And if you look at the Cleveland wordmark across the chest, you can see uh, that it's made up of bits and pieces from the logos of several legendary rock bands and artists over the years. Look at the V, that's the V from the David Bowie logo, the D from the Pink Floyd logo. And up the sides of the shorts, you will see that they have like band stickers, like classic retro band stickers. Look at that, except they're all Cleveland Cavs themed. The Cavs paying tribute to rock and roll. When you've won the most championships in league history, you've earned the right to celebrate that a little bit. And the Boston Celtics will do just that with their new City Edition uniform, designed to resemble the many, many, many NBA championship banners that hang above the court at TD Garden. Take a look at that, the word mark across the chest and the number looks very much like. Same font, same style, very basic, but looks good and it's got a great story attached to it. The LA Clippers are going with a simple recoloring of what they wore last year for their city uniform. What once was white is now black. The design, just like last year, created in partnership with artist Mr. Cartoon, as well as graffiti artist Royal Dog, together celebrating the authentic spirit of LA street culture. The Memphis Grizzlies are honoring a local artist and legend, singer-songwriter Isaac Hayes. This uniform is black with gold and teal trim and incorporates Hayes' signature in gold in the lower left corner of the jersey, as well as his trademark sunglasses there on the shorts. Isaac Hayes is most known for singing the theme from Shaft, as well as many other things, and if you're not into music, you probably know him as the voice of Chef from South Park. Isaac Hayes being honored by the Memphis Grizzlies. The Atlanta Hawks will honor the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., born and raised in Atlanta. The Hawks have partnered with the King Estate Foundation to create this uniform in infinity black, vintage gold, and fidelity white with King's initials MLK across the chest. King's signature also appears in the lower left corner of the jersey. Proceeds from the sale of the jersey will go to support economic empowerment programs for Atlanta's communities of color. Sadly, all good things must come to an end, and for the Miami Heat, they are ending their very, very popular Vice series of city uniforms with what they're calling the Vice Versa jersey. Originally conceived as a trip back through time to the Miami nightlife of the 1980s and the neon signs that lit up the city downtown, this extremely colorful uniform caps off four straight seasons of Vice uniforms for the Heat, the first one introduced way back in 2017. Did you know Charlotte, North Carolina was the home of the first U.S. branch mint? Well, you do now, and that's thanks to the Charlotte Hornets' new mint green city uniforms with gold and granite striping. This pays tribute to both that mint as well as the Carolina Gold Rush in the early 19th century. The gold carries on that theme of cash and riches and gold. But why granite? Granite's the state rock of the Hornets home state of North Carolina, of course. The Utah Jazz, who were the only team to wear the same city edition uniform in consecutive seasons, have finally changed things up, but not that much. What we have is a simple recoloration of their previous city look 
it's now black. They've entered dark mode, as they like to say. Still, it's a tribute to the red rock of the state of Utah, a gradient from yellow to orange to red before giving way to black of the base of the entire set. If you ever wondered what you'd get if you combined a bunch of different uniforms from a team's history, wonder no more. The Sacramento Kings are doing just that with their new City Edition uniform. It's a trip through the team's visual history, beginning with their 1980s powder blue set, their infamous checkerboard jersey from the 90s, their all-black road uniform of the 2000s, topped off by the Sac Town lettering from the City jersey last year. And here you have it, the new Sac Town City Edition jersey for 2021. And uh, as you can see, it's black with powder blue and the checkerboard up the side. There you go. A combination of all jerseys. That's your Sacramento Kings. The New York Knicks are collaborating with local fashion brand Kith with these bizarre black, orange, and blue gradient-rich uniforms for a few games in the upcoming season. The chest features a circular logo with the phrase City Never Sleeps above the team name. A gradient goes down the side of each side of the jersey as well as each pant leg on the shorts. Your defending champion Los Angeles Lakers are continuing with their lore series this year, turning to honor Elgin Baylor, a Hall of Fame small forward who played for the Lakers, starting with the club when they were still in Minnesota way back in 1958, carrying through to the 1971 season. This uniform is in the same blue and white scheme that the Lakers wore during Baylor's time with the club until 1967 with some silver thrown in for good measure. The Lakers this year honoring the 60th anniversary of their relocation from Minnesota to Los Angeles in 1960. The Orlando Magic are wearing another orange themed uniform for their City Edition set in 2021. The pinstripes and star across the uh, logo on the chest are a throwback to the Magic's past uniforms dating all the way back to the late 1980s, while also updating the look to include the color orange to represent the bright future of tomorrow. The orange is also a nod to the sunshine and the citrus industry, both very, very important to the state of Florida. The Dallas Mavericks will be celebrating both the 10th anniversary of their 2011 championship as well as the 40th anniversary of their franchise with this new gold, white, and silver uniform. The team name of Dallas, or the city name of Dallas, across the chest in gold player number and name in silver, and up the side of the shorts are the wings of the Pegasus, which is a nod to a mythological creature which has watched over the city of Dallas, all these many years. Here it is, the Dallas Mavericks City Edition uniform for 2021. The Brooklyn Nets are carrying on their theme of honoring a local artist with their annual city uniform, and this time it's Brooklyn-born Jean-Michel Basquiat, who started out as a street artist in the 70s before making a very successful transition to galleries in the 80s. This jersey is black, with BKLYN nets across the front in white, along with several multicolored designs featured along either side of the jersey, as well as around that team word mark on the chest in Basquiat style. The Denver Nuggets are finishing up their Skyline uniform series with a new Flatirons Red version of this design. Flatirons Red, selected as a reference to the state of Colorado's landscape. The Denver Nuggets originally wore a skyline across their jersey in a multicolored, almost rainbow-like style back in the 1980s all the way through to the early 1990s. Call it a reverse retro if you like. This is the last of the Nuggets skyline series. The Indiana Pacers will be throwing back for their city uniform design to something very much inspired by what they used to wear back in the late 90s to around 2006 or so. It is a blue uniform with yellow pinstripes, white and yellow striping up the side. The team wore a uniform just like this when they went to the 2000 NBA Finals. And I think it's safe to say Reggie Miller would be proud of this one. The Pelicans are taking the name City Jersey to heart here and straight up putting the flag of New Orleans right across the entire uniform. That's three horizontal bands of red, white, and blue and three gold fleur-de-lis across the chest. While the jersey has a blue stripe at the bottom, this won't be seen during gameplay. It'll be tucked into the shorts, but the shorts have their own blue stripe at the very bottom of each leg, completing the overall flag look. The Detroit Pistons are honoring, yeah, you guessed it, Detroit's history as the Motor City. They've done nothing else in Detroit except make cars. That's what I've learned from the Detroit Pistons. This uniform is blue and red with a circular logo around the player's number. The team says, this uniform is reminiscent of vintage automobile emblems, bold highway-like striping up the sides, 
and gears added around the Detroit Pistons logo on the side of the shorts. Here it is, the Pistons city uniform. The Toronto Raptors are once again working with Drake, their most famous fan, by sporting a black and gold uniform inspired by the color scheme of his OVO fashion brand. The uniform features Toronto across the chest in the team's original typeface, along with a jagged line across the chest as an underscore. That jagged line also goes across the shorts, representing a massive scratch of a Raptors claw. Ouch! And yes, it is nice to see the team wearing a uniform of Toronto across the front, even if they'll be playing far, far away in Tampa, Florida. We the South! Here we have the Houston Rockets, and they are going with a very unusual color. You know, in regards to their franchise, they are going with a light blue, which appears to be a nod to their city flag seen here with the white star there. Across the chest, in white with a red trim, is H-Town, which is sort of the Rockets' own little informal nickname for the city of Houston. So there you go, powder blue for the Rockets. Here's the star of the show, the San Antonio Spurs, with a wonderful tribute to their Fiesta logo era. The Spurs breathing much needed life into a black and silver look with the inclusion of teal, pink, and orange. Now, the Spurs never actually wore these colors on their uniforms back in the day, but it was all over the place on logos and shooting shirts and other merchandise throughout the 90s. A welcome sight. So glad to see the Spurs bringing back this old retro look. The Suns are looking beyond the city of Phoenix for their city uniform this year, instead choosing to honor the entire Phoenix metropolitan area, sometimes referred to as the Valley of the Sun. How appropriate. The uniform is black with a purple, red, and orange pixelated sunrise slash sunset over the Arizona desert and Camelback Mountain. The valley scrawled across the chest in white. It's a celebration of the state of Oklahoma for the Thunder, who will be wearing these blue, orange, and black diagonally striped uniforms this season. Oklahoma is written across the front in a similar style as the state flag. The state maps included on the waistband of the shorts, and Unite is written in the lower left of the jersey to challenge themselves to reach further and aim higher together. Minnesota is known as the North Star State, and that's how their old hockey team got their name after all. And these new Timberwolves uniforms pay tribute to that nickname. It's a black jersey with a single green star placed above the abbreviated team name in silver. Several white stars act as striping up the right side of the uniform and continue all the way down the side of the shorts. The Minnesota Timberwolves, the North Star uniform. The Portland Trailblazers are celebrating the spirit of Oregon, the beauty of its landscape, as well as the tribal nations who have called the land their home since the beginning. The uniforms are black with Oregon scripted across the front, directly from a sign which shines in Old Town Portland. A topographic map makes up the base of the jersey, and a series of colorful stripes representing the colors of a sunset over the mountains run up the side. A portion of the net proceeds from jersey sales will be donated to the Native American Youth and Family Center by both the Trailblazers and Biofreeze. Well, despite the fact that they now play in San Francisco, the Golden State Warriors are showing their fans from across the bay that they haven't forgotten about them with these brand new Oakland Forever uniforms. The jerseys use the old Warriors uniform style worn back in the early 2000s, which featured a logo with a god hurling a lightning bolt, and yes, it was occasionally a fun era for design. The Warriors played in Oakland for nearly 50 years before they moved across the bridge to their current home in 2019. Few things go hand in hand quite like the Washington Wizards and a disappointing city uniform and that tradition continues here in 2021. The Wizards are going grey with the team's DC alternate logo on the chest and a stars and stripes pattern up either side of both the jersey and the shorts. There it is. And that does it. That's all 30 of the City Edition uniforms for 2021 in the NBA. What are your favorites? What are your least favorites? I love that Spurs Fiesta jersey. I think they should bring those colors back full time somehow. And tell me your favorites. Tell me the ones you like. Tell me the ones you don't like. Share them in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And please, check out sportslogos.net for all your logo and uniform news and history. Thanks for stopping by.